Hey there, Segudo golfers. Tom Segudo here with a box. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at a really awesome high quality push cart out on the market today. The Wishbone One push cart or trolley as they call it. I'm really excited to share it with you in this episode. Let's get started. As with all unboxings, safety first. Use a key. All right, let's see what we have here. Okay, right out of the box, pretty simple. We've got three wheels. We've got the push cart unit right here with the lovely Segudo Golf lime green color. A protective carrying case to store it in and a scorecard holder. Let's get this baby assembled. One of the most important things, aside from having a quality product, is the ease of setting up the product. And what I love about this Wishbone One push cart is the fact that I haven't even read an instruction manual and boom, I've just got it all set up right there in one second or less. Installing the wheels on the Wishbone One is incredibly simple. Just push the button in the center of the wheel, slide it in to position on the metal ring, and it locks into place. You get a little click. Then we do the same with the other wheel. Push the button in the center, slide it onto the metal piece, and you'll hear the click, and it's locked into place, not going anywhere. Then we install the front wheel, and these just slide in. Boom. She's ready to go. Then we've got the scorecard holder, which you can affix to the side. And you're all set to play some golf. Get your stopwatch out again. See how quick that was? Disassembled, ready to play golf. Bing, bang, boom, one second. Some other really cool features on the Wishbone One, you've got the standard T holder, and then you've got room for one golf ball. But since you've been playing so well using Segudo Golf Tips, you only need the one in your pocket. This is just in case a bear comes out of the woods and you need a different ball to hit it with. So, water bottle holder, perfect. Look how easy that was. It's pretty easy to make room for other accessories with the Wishbone One. I can just strap my range finder holder onto the side like that. And then I don't have to worry about reaching down for this thing. So I can always just grab and go right there. Also included with the Wishbone One is a foot brake located on the left wheel. That's designed to keep your push cart from running away from you when on the golf course. Really simple operation. Simply push it down, the metal piece fits into one of those slots located on the wheel, and your cart will never run, run away from you again. You can also release it by flipping your foot up that way, and that takes the metal piece out of the wheel, and you're free to move the push cart. Another really cool feature to the Wishbone One is the fact that it's one of the lightest out there on the market today. It's just about nine pounds, so if you go to the gym, I'm doing some curls right now. This is a piece of cake. Nine pounds. It's very lightweight for the durability. Like I said, this aircraft grade aluminum and plastic, they've engineered this so well to get this to be that nine pounds. It feels like I'm lifting a feather right now compared to other push carts. I've seen other push carts, they're usually like 14, 17 pounds in that range, 20. So when you find something that's around nine pounds, they've really cut through a lot of the extra weight in giving you this design here. And just to show you once again, my favorite part, disassembly, put it in the back of your car. Let's go play golf, one second or less. Does it get any easier than that? Let's strap it up. The Wishbone One is compatible with all types of golf bags, and it's really simple to set up. Just put it on the trolley like this. Boom, you're good to go. Now we've got these silicone straps that you can strap in your bag with. It's pretty easy to do. Depending on your stand bag, for example, mine's kind of bulky, you may need to angle it differently, just twist it at a different angle like this so that you can get the straps to fit fully around. There we go, now she fits the whole way around. There's two little 
metal pieces that you're trying to strap this in with. Same thing with the bottom, just strap it in and you're ready to play. My first impressions of the Wishbone 1 right out of the box, I love the one second fold setup operation. 30 seconds, you put the bag on, you're ready to go play, get to the first tee, have some fun. The features included with it are also really cool in the sense that they're not obstructing your view, they're not intrusive, they're not overwhelming you. If you want to use a scorecard holder, you can. It attaches right to the side, but it's out of your way during the round. It's not in your face all day. Tees, golf ball holder, pretty standard. Water bottle holder, really nice touch. And the fact that you can flip up this umbrella holder and you can just easily screw it into place and you're ready to go. So it's a really easy, low profile design. My other really favorite part about the Wishbone one is the fact that, wow, it takes one minute to set up. It's that simple. You have something that is nine pounds. So it's not something you have to go to the gym to practice so that you can use it. You don't have to go lift weights to use this thing. And it's made out of this high quality aircraft grade aluminum coupled with very durable plastic. And the wheels as well, extremely solid construction. The Wishbone One is something that is built to last 30, 40 years. If you're an avid golfer and you're going to play 365 days a year, I would expect this thing to perform very well. I don't think you're going to see any durability issues over time because it's just built so solid. There's not a lot of moving pieces around here. You've got the simple setup operation, but the rest of it is seamlessly welded in place, very smooth finish. There's not a whole lot of screws. I expect this thing would last you a long time. And that's why it's considered to be in the higher end of the push cart spectrum. And when compared to its competition, and I've seen some of the top push carts out there, the Wishbone One stacks up against the best push carts you're gonna find in the market today. And it's got one of the most unique features being the saw construction with the one second setup. I don't know many that do that and the fact that it is nine pounds and you're ready to go play. That's what it's all about. Get up and go play. I don't want to think about how to set something up. I just want to go play. Let's go take a look at how this fits in the trunk of the car. It's pollen season, so that's why there's some yellow on the wheels. When looking at trunk space, consider having one fold down seat available to store your golf bag, or you can reverse where you put the golf bag, where you put the push cart. It fits in my trunk like a glove. I don't have the most trunk space in the whole world, but if I have my fold down seat, the golf bag fits in there perfectly alongside this push cart. So in terms of space, I'm not sure how it stacks up with the competition, but I do know that a push cart takes up a lot of space in a car. With all the features you're getting with this push cart in terms of the one second operation, the durable aluminum construction, it's well worth the price of admission if you don't mind having a little bit extra space taken up in the back of your car. Of course, I've got it fully assembled so that I can take it out and fold in one second. You could take the wheels off if you wanted to store it for a little bit more space saving. Take all the wheels off. But um, what you see right here is its typical configuration in the car. My car doesn't have room for me to stack. So your mileage may vary depending on the car and your space configuration in the back of the trunk. Two good offers. We're on the course right now with the old man checking out our Wishbone One trolleys. Having a good time. He's got his approach into number one right here. He's got about 375 yards. Two iron. Oh, that sounded good. That sounded really good. Good shot. Nice looking shot. So, so far, easy get the trolley out of the bag or out of the car come up on the golf course in 30 seconds like I told you in the video and just pushing this baby smoothly down the fairway okay, coming up to the ball here nice lie in the fairway give myself a good chance of birdies I'm gonna hit like a about 160 yard shot 160 170 get a seven iron hit a wedge into the green make birdie just kidding we're going with the three we're going to the green you guys know I'm better than that laying up you don't pay to watch me lay up all right so we're 
both cruising down the fairway in our wishbone ones. You said it was a pretty comfy cart there, old man. Very comfy cart. He said it's a very comfy cart. Easy to steer, very lightweight. Yeah, it's the lightest push cart in its class out there on the market today. You know, it's almost like you're riding in one of those Ford Flexes. Or, you know, SUV, a comfortable SUV. You don't even feel the ground. It's just like one easy pushing motion. Like somebody, somebody like sprayed Pam cooking spray on it. It's just so smooth. And even a brake pedal. Even a brake pedal. Yeah, he found himself on the side of a hill and he was just hoping there was a brake. Which, of course, there was. Just happened to be there on the left side. So here are our shots. Two beautiful golf balls in the middle of the fairway. How about that? It's a good day. Lovely par three. Got about 210 yards to stick. Four iron. Old man on the par three, about buck seventy-five, buck eighty, two million yards to stick. There's a squirrel in the woods yelling at him. We've got these albino squirrels here in South Carolina. They're really interesting creatures. Nice little push draw. Good ball flight, old man. And look at look at that shot. Oh, I can't even zoom in. There it is, right up by the flag. Yeah, that was a Segudo dot golf shot. That's what people are doing in the Segudo dot golf online golf school, hitting push draws. It's like going into your fridge, pulling out a nice vat of butter and shoving a knife right through it, just gliding right through it. Beautiful buttery, applying that butter to a basket of deep fried KFC. And you've got a lovely recipe for some good golf. So the old man's eyeing a beautiful birdie putt here. All right, we got about, about 500 feet to the hole. Looks like he's got another 500 going there. <laughs> little slew. Go home, ball! Too good for your home! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, well, live and learn. You can either, either let your mistake bite you, or you can learn from it and make that putt. Now, the old man here, situated really nicely. Birdie op. He's fixing his ball mark very, he's like a Claude Monet with ball mark fixings. He, he just knows how to eye him up, fix him, like it never even happened. He's a superintendent's best friend. He would have made a great superintendent. Unbelievable. He's got a birdie putt. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. <laughs> Maybe we didn't learn anything. Okay. Well, make your putt, and then I'll make mine. It's good. Good. Three feet. Maybe the last green was just that much faster, and this one throwing us for a loop. Get in the hole. Okay. That's not making the cut. Just kidding. All right. Get in, get in. Yep. See, you don't even need a cameraman. <laughs> Beautiful.
beautiful day. Calling in an artillery strike with the old man. Golf balls within a few yards of each other. That's sweet. Here's the old man. Good approach here. Good birdie chance. Good swing, nice tilt. A little short. But a birdie putt. Let's be good. Be the right grub to do it. Oh, it's a nice club today. <laughs> oh, it's nice and tight. Got one in close right there. Old man's over here. He's got about a 20 to 30 footer. I might as well mark my ball. But I'm trying to play some good defense. See, part of the art of competitive golf is playing defense. Anticipating where your competitor will be and then blocking his putt. It's got to get some legs if it's got enough legs. It always breaks towards Ray's Creek. It always breaks towards Ray's Creek. There's... <laughs> wow. It did not break towards Ray's enough. There we go. Okay, so a nice little 360 lip out there. That was a gift. Break towards Ray's Creek. At least I thought it did. Last week it did. The Masters. Okay, well, better luck this time. Maybe it won't break towards Ray's Creek. I don't know. There's no Ray's Creek here. There's an ocean. Come again? Oh, what you doing there? Mashy Niblick Lie. Who taught you that? Laura Davies. Nice trick out of the book. Really gets it extra crispy. It's like you're buttering it up and you're you're putting it in flour and egg wash twice. Fluffering, fluffing up your mashed potatoes, a little sour cream. A little, a little bit of sour cream. Oh, look, would you look at that? That felt awesome. You can thank Laura Davies for that one. Mashy Niblick Lie, FTW, for the win. We're on the eighth hole here. It's a lovely place, lovely hole with some lovely acting. Still got our wishbone ones. Riding just as smooth. Almost want to get a chair attachment where you can sit in it and it's remote controlled and you can just drive down the fairway. This thing is so smooth, you want to take it down the highway, put somebody in the back seat of it, you know. Do some water skiing with the trolley. It's just that smooth. Smooth, light, easy to push. Yeah, I noticed that I'm not really working hard out here at all. The other push guy we're using, the older ones, which were from back in the 1850s or the 1990s, those things, those were always tedious to pull around I thought this thing makes it really light so I can highly recommend how light this is and how easy it is to push if you're one of those golfers who likes to walk or you're thinking about getting into walking definitely a good investment for you because you want to walk more you'll play more golf you could probably play 36 holes or something this light you're barely exerting any effort. You're really just walking. And I feel, I feel light as a feather walking out here with this thing. It's just not a drag to pull around. It's not in your way. So, highly recommend the ergonomic capabilities of this Wishbone One. Really light, easy to use so far through almost nine holes. It's been a joy to play golf with. And even the old man has been saying how light it is. And he clipped a tree on his tee shot, unfortunately. It was hit really well, but he clipped that tree there. And that tree is merciless. It doesn't have any friends. It wants to have friends, but it's in a spot where it won't make any friends. Tough lie here. Well, that sounded really crispy. All right, we're a good spot here. 
the mashy niblick lie really pulled pulled its weight and gold here got about 135 to the stick going with the pitching wedge That felt good. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know if I flew the green. Nuclear pitching wedge, or we're close. I can't tell. The sun's bright. That felt really good. Don't forget the match you nibbling. Sugudo Golf Sr. taking his life into his hands. Don't try this at home. Well, that felt good. Yeah. Yeah. What you got there? It was crispy. I bet I was aimed right there. That felt too good. Just stayed out to the right. But look at that. <laughs> look at that mashy mash. <laughs> Whatever. Segudo Golfers, finishing up a review. The Wishbone One trolley. And so far, been a very pleasant experience with it today. Lightweight. Old man, what do you think? Do another 9, 18, 27, whatever. This is a leisurely, leisurely walk for me. Spoiled by a ball. Yes, a leisurely walk spoiled by a ball. Except when you're hitting it buttery, crispy KFC. Well, if you get one of those remote control balls, you don't have to worry about it misbehaving. But yeah, this thing, one of the features that really stands out is the fact that it's so lightweight. And I didn't get a chance to try this out in the backyard because... You don't know till you use it on the course, but it's so lightweight you could just keep pushing this all day, and you don't even really know it's there. Some other push carts are heavy to the point where you just know you're pulling this ball and chain around on the golf course. That's what it feels like. This thing, it's a breeze. So we could go play another nine, maybe another nine after that, another nine. Just put our night vision goggles on. I highly recommend the Wishbone One. Check it out. It's really easy to set up. You saw that quick snap. Boom, boom. Three second setup or less. One second setup. And easy to put the bag in there. You got tons of awesome features. Scorecard holder, umbrella holder. It's all built into the design. It's not in the way. Very minimalistic. So it's easy to use. Intuitive design. But overall, highly recommend this push cart trolley. Incredibly light, easy to use, fun, made for an enjoyable day on the golf course. So thanks for tuning in today, Segudo Golfers. Hope you enjoyed this fun vlog and review of the Wishbone One Old Man joining us today. If you want to see more videos with the old man featured in it. And yes, he says it's okay to call him the old man. It's a term of endearment. I know some of you go ballistic when, when I call him the old man. It's a term of endearment and I'm still living. He hasn't beat me up yet. He's capable of that. He is completely capable to beat me up. But at the moment, we're both still alive enjoying this lovely game. So, thanks again for tuning in. Have a rockin' week.